Welcome back to Overland Florida, everybody. I'm Kevin, and today I'm going to be unboxing my new rooftop tent. The brand is Wild Finder. This is how it was delivered to my house, and the shipping and handling company didn't uh, take too good care of it, but I guess we'll find out when we open it whether it's damaged or not. All the bands are off. I haven't opened this yet, so let's do it together. All right, there's a nice little piece of styrofoam for packaging. And then the tent is saran wrapped, so we'll go ahead and get that off. Here's the tent out of the box. I really like how smooth it is. It's really sleek. I really like the logos. There's one on each side and there's one on the back right here. Starting on the side of the tent, we do have mounting rails right here. You can mount various things. You can mount awnings, shower rooms, roto packs, uh, shovels, axes, whatever it is that you have that you need to mount. This right here is for a pole. And this little pole goes in this hole and it actually holds up the awning once the uh, when the tent is in the up position. Right here we have two adjustable uh, ladder mounts right here if you want to get to the tent from the side, the front, or the other side over there. There's three different mounts and they do slide. You can slide these left and right depending on what other things you have uh, mounted with your tent if you have awnings or whatnot over here we do have a nice strut this is going to help you open up the tent and it's going to help keep it open as well again we have that nice logo right here it's really slick i like that and we do have two mounting rails down here and we have one slot right here for mounting and once we open up this tent we will discover there should be a roof rack in there so this tent does come with a roof rack where you can mount bicycles kayaks canoes uh water solar panels whatever it is that you guys want to carry up there making our way to the back we do have three hinges and these do have allen heads right here so in the sense that you ever do need to adjust these tighten them or loosen them or whatnot uh, do maintenance on your tent you can work on these whereas some cheaper tents just have pop rivets that could fail and doesn't give you any form of adjustment on them on this side right here we have two bottom slots and a top slot for mounting different things we have the wild finder logo right there really nice we have our strut on this side we have our two mounts right here that's for your ladder you can adjust these left or right depending on how you have your vehicle set up we have our mount for our little pole that goes up for our awning on the front side of the tent which is how you're going to open it you're going to notice the same two slots in the bottom one slot at the top you're going to have one latch over here one latch on this end, you're going to have your ladder mount right here in the center, then you're going to have one handle to open and close it. So I'll go ahead and pop this side right here. Go ahead and give this thing a little lift. See how easy the struts are. I'm just going to try to do it with just a couple fingers lift up. Here's the tent in the open position, just out of the box. And the first thing you're gonna notice probably is, is this elastic band. What you're gonna do is you're gonna just pull this down and put it in that first slot. What that elastic band does is it sucks in the sides. When you go to close the tent, uh, it allows uh, the material not to hang out the side when you're trying to close it. It just brings everything to the center of the tent. So it's a lot easier to close by yourself. So we had to move the tool, tool bag, put that down. And there we go. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look inside the tent. Um, this right here is to help you close it. So if this is mounted on top of a trailer, on top of a vehicle, um, you can actually pull this down with this strap. So what I'm gonna do right now is just throw that over the back, get it out of the way. And we wanna look for the poles that are gonna hold this rain fly up. In this long bag right here, we're gonna have four tent poles. And those poles right there are gonna hold this rain fly up. So I'll go ahead and pull these out and install them. There you have it, that's the rain fly all the way out. That's the four little poles that come in this bag. And that gives you pretty good protection at the front entryway there of the tent. It's time to enter the tent and see what else is in here. Let's see what this looks like. All right, this is gonna be a shoe bag organizer. You can put your shoes in there, dirty clothes, um, shower supplies, whatever it is you want to put in there. And that is actually going to hang on uh, the side of the tent. You can go on 
all three sides. It's going to slide in that little channel right there. So that comes in really handy. Looks like you're going to have another one. So you can have one on each side of the tent. That's very generous of them. A lot of companies don't give out any of those bags or you got to pay extra. Well, you're getting two at this tent. These right here are going to be the roof rack rails. So the two rails are going to go across the top of the tent where you can mount a bicycle, a kayak, canoe, solar panels, whatever it is that you want with your setup. It does come with those. Those are pretty nice that it includes that and all these different accessories. This box right here is going to be, that is the mounting kit for the roof rack. So that mounts these two bars across. You got your little brackets that slide through those little slots on the side with nuts and bolts. It's like all stainless steel, so it's not gonna rust. All right, put that with the, uh, the rails. And this bag right here, this is gonna be the mounting kit for the tent itself. So these are gonna slide through channels in the bottom of the tent, and it's gonna go through these brackets right here, which are gonna pull it tight against your roof rack, your roof rails. Um, that could be on top of a camper, on top of a trailer, on top of a, a truck bed, uh, SUV, anything. So they're pretty universal. I haven't had to ever get uh, different sizes of these. These pretty much fit every bed rack or a vehicle, Jeep, trailer, whatever that I've ever had. So those brackets right there are universal. And it does come in a nice little bag right there for you. This right here is the tent manufacturer, and that is Wildfinder. They have a little installation manual. This bag right here is going to be our ladder. It does have some nice grip on the treads, so even if you're out in the rain or the morning dew, you shouldn't be slipping and sliding off of this ladder. But it does extend out, and you can uh, reach the top of an SUV, top of a trailer, a truck, or whatnot. So the ladder is plenty long enough, as long as you don't have a overly lifted vehicle with, I'd say, like larger than 40 inch tires. Before I crawl in, let's go ahead and take a peek underneath this mattress. So it looks like we're gonna have the standard, probably like two inch mattress. We're gonna have a little, eh, a little pad. It's gonna be more of like a moisture barrier. It's gonna allow it to breathe. And then the bottom of the tent, where normally it would just be aluminum, this actually has rubber grip, which is pretty nice. So it's gonna be quieter. Um, you're not gonna have that hot aluminum right against your mattress, so it's gonna allow it to cool down a little bit. So it can also act as like a cooling pad. So we got the little barrier right there. We got the mattress. Entering the tent, we do have one big weatherproof door and there's a zipper on each side. You can roll this up. If you don't wanna use this big weatherproof door, let's just say the weather's really good, it's nice and cool, you wanna enjoy that. This does roll up and there is a screen door right there that you can go through. So that is the big weather door in the up position. And right now this is utilizing the screen door. It is currently zipped up. Go ahead and open this. This does roll up as well, but I'm just gonna flip that back behind me. Entering in the tent, there's one big screen door right here. You have one on the other side. You can enter through the tent on all three sides, all three windows. There are mounts on each side for the ladder. And we do have a lot of organization in here, a lot of pockets to store things. There's even pockets over there. Those are good for like cell phones and keys, wallets, one on each side. There is an LED light in here. And even though this tent is aluminum and it's black, in the sun it does have this nice material on the inside so you're not burning yourself against that another nice feature is above this door there is another screen and that just allows for more airflow and it goes almost to the top so that's gonna be nice during the winter time when you have all the windows closed. The condensation from your breath isn't gonna form and start dripping on you. If you have this cracked up here, the uh, breath and condensation is gonna have a way to escape. So it's not gonna build up inside the tent, which is a pretty big thing.
And again, all three doors are accessible. They're all screen and they all also have a zip in weatherproof blackout window and door. So um, you can almost see no light when this is all zipped up. So if you're on vacation, you wanna sleep in and the sun wakes you up really early, uh, this tent is has blackout material. So it doesn't let very much, if any light inside of it. Inside the tent when it's open, you're gonna have just about 80 inches from that corner all the way to the zipper, 80 inches. From side to side, you're gonna have 49 inches, which is just over four feet. If you're worried about getting dressed inside the tent or sitting up or kneeling, you're looking at just about four and a half feet. You're at about 54 inches. So walking around the outside of the tent, I've owned three or four of these tents and they're all pretty much the same build quality. This one, however, has a different rain fly, which makes it unique. Um, it goes around all three sides. It does a pretty good job keeping the rain off the tent. Now, when you climb up the ladder, obviously the rain is going to probably drop or fall down on top of you, but it's keeping the most important thing dry, and that is the transition from the outside to the inside of the tent. So this whole entryway right here where the zipper is, um, that's going to keep it dry. So you don't have to race to get in and out of the tent, you know, and not let water in. The water is not going to get in there as long as you have the rain fly up. Now this gasket right here is nice. It goes around all four sides. It's nice and thick and that's gonna, really important for when you're traveling down the road and you know, you're going 60, 70 miles an hour down the road and heavy downpour, that wind is trying to just force the water everywhere around this tent. And this is your only barrier to keep that moisture out. So it's important that it has this nice gasket. And if this ever does get old or brittle, um, you can just replace this and slide a new one in and you're good to go has a nice strong struts right here and they're strong enough to where if you get in a kind of a windstorm in the middle of the night this thing's not going to close down on you again we have the nice logos right here you can put a roof rack on here it does come with it it's adjustable so if you want the two bars close together you want the bars far apart away um, you can adjust it the whole length of the tent and again, you can put bicycles up there, kayaks, canoes, solar panels. It is nice that you can have the ladder on uh, any of the three sides. So whether you have this, let's just say you have this on the back of the Forerunner and you want to climb out the back. Well, when you open up the rear hatch of the Forerunner, you can't have the ladder down. So you're gonna have to put the ladder on either the left or the right side. And as you can see, we have an awning so if you can't use the rear because the hatch and you have the awning out, then you can't use the ladder on this side or that side. So you have to have it on the third side. So that's why it's nice to have a tent that allows you to have access on all three sides. Because if we just had access on the rear, that would be pretty bad because we wouldn't be able to get into the tent with the uh, rear hatch up. So I'm going to go ahead and close this tent up and then I'm going to take measurements of the tent in the closed position because that usually answers a lot of people's questions. From the front hinge that sticks out a little bit to the rear, you're looking about 84 inches. From the strut that sticks out on the other side to the strut that sticks out on this side, you're looking at about 52 inches. And that's the width of the tent in the closed position. With the tent closed, as far as height goes, Measuring down to the rails that are sticking below the tent, you're looking at about seven and a half inches high. So that's the Wildfinder rooftop tent. And I have to say that's probably the best bang for the buck right now. I've owned many versions of this tent and now they're just getting cheaper and the quality is going up and so are the accessories that they come with and the features. So I looked it up and less than a thousand dollars on Amazon shipped to you. I want to say it's about 960 bucks right now available on Amazon Prime. You can actually get this tent in like two days. Um, there will be a link in the description, but again, you get the roof rack. You get that rain fly that goes on all three sides. My other versions of this tent didn't have the rain fly, so now they're giving you the rain fly. You get two shoe bags. You can access this tent from all three sides. My other versions you could only access from the front side, which would be a problem, again, if it was on like the back of an SUV uh, like the 4Runner. Um, again, that's just... It's getting shipped straight to your house. You'll have to deal with anything. And like I said, less than a thousand bucks. So if I had a budget of a thousand bucks, if I had a budget of 750 or whatever, I would just spend the extra money and get this tent right here. And fully closed up, 
it's indestructible virtually it's all aluminum heavy duty um you're going to be protected if you're off-roading branches aren't going to scratch it and you know ruin it or rip it open if it was just a canvas or a soft shell uh rooftop tent it's like i said aluminum it's going to hold up and you can actually store stuff on top of this solar panels bikes kayaks or whatnot so again thanks for watching this video there will be some links in the description to the uh amazon ad and like i said right now they're running a deal and it's less than a thousand bucks and you can't find aluminum tents like this less than a thousand bucks all the other ones that used to be right at a thousand dollars or eleven hundred they have now since gone up you know they got popular again and then went up this one still under a thousand dollars so this is a really good tent if you're interested in joining the rooftop tent community thank you for watching